This is LinkedIn Secrets, Part 1. Don't be bashful, tell all. And I'm Michael Sirkan. This is a production of PracticalPodcasting.com, the website that teaches you how to build successful professional relationships to succeed in careers and business through the use of podcasting. When you're building a profile on LinkedIn, always use a real picture of yourself. Don't put in some cartoon image or some ghosty thing that doesn't really represent yourself or absolutely do not leave the picture blank. Don't leave gaps in your work history. If you were a homemaker for a period of time or you were unemployed for a while, always put something down in those periods. And we'll talk about what you can do. You can mention that you were doing volunteer work. You can even flat out say things like, I was a homemaker or some type of, of thing about raising your children or something like this. If you, if you do leave blanks, people will just, they will automatically discount you. When there's, it raises questions when they see gaps. So you might as well head these questions off right off the bat by putting it into your into your profile. When I'm considering when I'm going through candidates for jobs when I was at Microsoft, when I uh, when I was working at Microsoft or even at the technology company that I work at now, when I'm going through people's uh when candidates for jobs, I automatically dismiss anybody who doesn't have a complete LinkedIn profile, which means they don't have a picture, they don't have and they're they're work history isn't complete, I just dismiss it. I figure that if they can't be bothered to fill in a complete LinkedIn profile, then they're not really good candidates for the position. Of course, this applies to resumes as well. Resumes don't have pictures, but you. But certainly with work history, I expect to see it all there. And and it, there can be times where there was a gap in your in your career, but you can't hide it. You have to talk about it. You have to put put that in there. And, and as I said, there are often ways you can put think you can put something down. Let's look at my LinkedIn profile. As you can see, I have a picture, a snapshot up there of myself. It was actually a picture that the from a photo with my son, and you can kind of see my son's head in the background. I should get a different picture. It is good to have somewhat of a professional picture. You don't want something of you drinking alcohol or in a costume or something like this. But on the other hand, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a picture up there either. And I think a lot of people overly think these pictures and they're concerned that they look too fat, that they're too old or something like this. It's always, always, always put in a picture. People social media is about getting to know people and when you don't have a picture you lose that type of a connection and as I said before there's lots of times where people won't even want to contact you this isn't just employers there could be other people who are looking for people in your field to network with or become friends with and you're just you're 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 it's colder and more impersonal when you don't have a picture so do put a picture up that's the whole point of LinkedIn and, and social networking is sharing something of yourself. And, and employers really do care about these things. These things matter. So have a picture there. And when it comes to filling out the rest of your profile, I do go in and put some details about my in my summary. I try to make it lively, talk about what I'm absolutely good at. Those are good things to do as well. Now, when it comes, though, to your work history and your experience don't leave gaps. You'll notice here that in 2009 I have two items, one for being a president of effective communication services and one for being a marketing director at intranet sites. And both of these items were actually during a period of time when I was between jobs. I had been let go from Microsoft and I took and I, I it was there was about a year gap before I found another full-time job. But I was actively trying to do consulting, so I called that effective communication services and called myself the president of it, so I've got that down on my resume or on my profile. I also did some volunteer work for several startups and one of them was intranet sites. I never got paid for it, but I put in literally maybe 1,500, 2,000 hours working for them. And I put that down on my resume as well. 
which by the way is a great thing to do you can always go out and volunteer to fill gaps if you if you're unemployed right now don't be sitting around twiddling your thumbs go out and volunteer to do some work then at least you can be filling gaps in your resume picking up new skills and so on and even if I hadn't done this volunteer work, I still could have put in something, uh, but, I, but just do not leave a gap. If you were out traveling the world, uh, put in something about how you were doing cultural exchanges or something. Be creative, but, you, but really put something down. It only invites questions when there's gaps. And, and in many cases, people, and certainly employers, will simply not even contact you when they see that there's gaps in your, in your profile. You can always learn more at practicalpodcasting.com and stay tuned for the other parts in the series of LinkedIn Secrets.